Welcome back to Cooking for Millennials, the show where we teach you how to cook delicious and nutritious meals. Today on the program, we've got a You Asked For It, You Got It episode. We are doing the hot dog tenderloin today. And it's going to be pretty awesome. So, from our other episode, we've got our package of hot dogs. And to go with that, to make a natural, proper hot dog tenderloin, you're going to need some butcher string here. Now, I got this little uh, spool of string for $3.59. That seems excessively expensive, but uh, apparently it's chef grade and soft cotton for 30 feet. That's probably pretty expensive. But anyways, no expense spared for hot dog tenderloin. And we'll get our dogs out. Look at all those dogs. Now, that's not enough hot dog to make a proper hot dog tenderloin. So, we've also got a couple packages of some ballpark all beef hot dogs to go with our Frank's Red Hot hot dogs. These ones look like they don't have as much food coloring in them. Anyways, we'll give it a shot. Oh yes, look at that. Oh. Whoa. Slippery little fellas. All right, maybe that's enough for now. Ah, whatever, we need them all out. There. Doesn't that look great? Alright, so we got our massive pile of hot dogs here. Good God. And now we have to get these into hot dog tenderloin uh, order here. So let's just, I don't know, let's just get the string out. Uh, sure. Let's do that much. And simply grab your dogs get the smaller ones too so they can fit like in the middle or wherever just to fill in the space I think we're gonna get a lot of dogs for this and as needed got tie that one back on it tie them nice and tight as well We don't want these things getting loose. All right, there's a little wiener bundle. Let's get some more string going here. Guess we don't need too much string. And naturally, we're gonna prepare this on Roasting tray here. If any good tenderloin needs to be roasted. There we go. Sneak an extra one in there, eh? There we go. All right. Lay that string under there, right, ready to. Group in more dogs. And you know what? We're going to do another string. For another set of dogs here. I 
And just keep laying your wieners wherever, wherever they should be. Oh yeah, this is taking shape now. Look at this. Now we're cooking. We got a lot of these small wieners here. We'll just fit those around wherever. On the side. This big guy right here. There we go. Now we just gotta somehow tie these things together. <laughs> Hot dog tenderloin. A lot cheaper than the normal tenderloin. Well, actually, these hot dogs were fairly pricey, but if you make it with the chicken dogs, I'm sure it'd cost pretty practically nothing. All right, let's grab. Tie this here again. Whoop! This hot dog water. Hot dog water packaging is make them all slippery. They're good and tight. <laughs> well, I could probably even do another little round here because I'm kind of a little bit worried these guys might escape. Let's kind of do them both together here. Yeah, that's the, that's the stuff. But not them both together. They'll be fine. We won't have any escapees. There. Ah, shoot, why don't we do the same with this one? Maybe a little bit more tying than normal tenderloin, but, uh, or whatever, but. We don't want our dogs getting anywhere. Let's just cut off the excess strings. So there we have it. That is our basic hot dog tenderloin. Our all beef hot dog tenderloin. I think it's looking pretty good. Roll it around so you can see it a bit. All from all angles. Very good. Now, <laughs> we're gonna put this right in the pan. So here we have our nice roasting pen. I think you've seen this one maybe before. We have our hot dog tenderloin. I'm gonna drop that right in there. We have our hot dog tenderloin all wrapped up, prepared. It's time to season it. I got some nice freshly ground pepper here. I'll do it like this. You can see that? Oh yes. We got a little bit of salt and chilies. I'm sure the hot dogs are plenty salty already, so we're just gonna do a little quick pass. We got some apple and beer. Uh, kind of maritime madness grilling sauce here. Just gonna drape that right on there. Now the beautiful thing about the hot dog tenderloin is as you sauce it, the sauce will get right into all the hot dog crevices. Some Aunt Jemima. Added sweetness. You can see it get, just melt right in all those nice crevices. Right on the end, too. And we're gonna add some Diana. Ah, just original today. Just sauce up all your wieners. Right to the ends. Everything is looking pretty good. Next, just to get some vegetables in here, we got some onions. Just drop on top. Here and there. Let's 
few of them fell down, but that's all right. And more onions. <laughs> there. Maybe we should have topped this thing off with ketchup, relish, and mustard, eh? <laughs> but anyways, here we have it. We have our hot dog tenderloin. Now, cooking uh, varies. Whoa, slippery devils. Just to center that back. Cooking will vary here. But we're going to put this in for 425. Nah, we'll try 40 minutes or something. We'll see. Anyways, we're going to come back and check out on how this is done in a bit. So stay tuned. All right, so after uh, cooking our hot dog tenderloin there, let's see what we got. I'm gonna release the lid. Put that there. And lo and behold, we have a beautiful hot dog tenderloin ready to feed a feast of hungry people. Mm -mm. Hot dog tenderloin. All right, here we are at the hot dog tenderloin unveiling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Cooked to absolute perfection. Mmm. You could feel, feed like a meal of six people off of this. Oh my God, look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that glisten. Oh, steamy. Mmm. Mmm, just drink it in. Look at that. Hot dog tenderloin. <laughs> All those at dog ends. And there we are. Hot dog tenderloin. Gonna transfer this right, right to the cutting board. All right, let's get this turned around the, the good way. Back it up. Splits into two for good portion sizes. Now we're gonna cut. <laughs> Cut our hot dog tenderloin here. Push it over so it doesn't fall on the floor. Look at that. That one almost did. We're going to turn this around too so you can see it a little bit better. Mmm. Mm. Look at that steam. Make sure you get your string out of there. Look at that. Now that is a feast. <laughs> Tuck some onto our plate here for a quick little sample. Mmm. 
That's good tenderloin. <laughs> mm. Try this one today. You're going to be pleasantly surprised, and your guests won't even know what hit them. <laughs> they will be blown away. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.